as you can tell, it's another day, another episode of Vertigo. Yesterday when I came home from work, my fingers were itching. I wanted to play this game so badly, but I was too tired to do so. So that's why I got up early this morning and did my errands. So now we can sit here and dive deep into Vertigo. Uh, recap from last time, we, you know, like witnessed the whole meetup story, how Faye and Ed met each other, which was um, mildly disturbing to say so. <laughs> and after that, we encountered Aunt Mary, was it Mary? We encountered the Aunt of Ed, which is... Um, also a mildly disturbing woman um <laughs> yeah we're playing as this psychotherapist or psychologist uh julia and julia is currently sitting outside trying to get through her notes trying to recap what just happened so we're gonna dive into that and see what is going on and what we can even take out of this first session with Ed. I'm really excited how this game is gonna turn it around because knowing Alfred Hitchcock it's probably gonna be some twisted shit that's gonna be really great at the end. <laughs> but we'll see. So far I'm not really getting anything. Phantom is here! You're on time! What's up? Are you ready to rumble? I hope this is getting less weird. I really do hope this is getting less weird. Uh, let me turn up the game sound a bit. Right, uh, what, are, what are our objectives? Relax before the afternoon session. Look for a good place outside. Breathe and meditate. I definitely need that after last episode. We're gonna review the session notes and we're gonna have lunch. We're gonna have the cursed sandwich that the aunt gave us. I'm really um, suspicious of literally anyone in this family. I went to my school by accident because I thought it started today, but it actually starts tomorrow. Well, lucky you, because now you can spend another time watching streams instead of going to school. <laughs> but yeah, probably very painful to realize that it's not even starting. Okay. <clears throat> very odd that there is no music going on at the moment. She said that she was advising us to go to the docks. So we're gonna go to the docks. Well, I heard something flickering up. Not here, probably there. Yes, but I will actually drop out. Sucks, man. Sorry to hear. Uh, I cannot sit anywhere. I can, apparently, but I don't see you. I don't see what is flickering up. Oh, the lake. Okay, fair. First, you have to pick a stone. This one? Julia, sweetie. That's the best skipping stone I have ever seen. <laughs> now, remember how to do it? Knees bent, tiny out, arms back, limp wrist, riding fingers, stone level with the ground. Eyes on the water, flick your wrist and the stone. Skips! Flick your wrist and 
Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure next time will work out better. Right. So we just got a flashback from her childhood. Oh, I see exactly where we're supposed to sit. Nah, don't be. I just want to change schools because I found the career I want to go to. <gasps> That's great news, actually, then. That's way better than dropping out. <laughs> Cheeky Sammy. Okay, she likes her, likes her things tidy. I get it. <laughs> we can read the therapy notes. We can eat the sandwich. Or we can... Oh, what is that? Check messages from Lou. Or call Robert. Okay, so Lou was someone that wanted to see us again. But we didn't want to see them. So let's not check the messages. We could call Robert, but first I want to check the therapy notes. The sandwich we're going to keep for last. I don't trust the sandwich. Ed is reluctant and even hostile towards therapy. Why? He's lying and he knows it. He's afraid of going crazy. He's keeping the truth from himself. Claire is manipulating him. Oh, so the aunt is named Claire. I, I remember. Uh, well, I think he's just afraid of going crazy. Or actually, he's afraid that people think he's crazy. Which comes down to the same thing, right? Um, I don't think he's lying and he is aware of it. He might be lying, but I don't think he knows it. Um... Claire is manipulating him. I think Claire is more putting pressure on him by asking, like, when will he be able to walk? He's just stubborn, you know. He's keeping the truth from himself. Might be. Might be something there. Um, let's just go with X. He second guesses himself. What he saw and even his own sanity. Hmm, I've never seen such an intense case of vertigo before. It's real, he's lying. It's real, but it's he's exaggerating. You know, so far, I don't have any clue whether he's lying or he's not lying. Or if he's exaggerating, so I guess I have just to get with what I see, which is, it's real. He might be faking, but so far, you know what, I, I cannot, this is not my position to judge that he's lying at the moment. So, it's real. Something tells me that Ed isn't lying about that part of the story. Besides, the case reports were conclusive. Does she exist? Oh, damn. Let me read through your messages. Ah. I feel like I did the same thing as you. If I can go for it, pull through. You're doing the right thing. Faye. Right. Um. Faye. She exists, she's a playboy's delusions, she's a character from a novel. I have no clue about Faye. Teddy, hi! Greetings. Teddy, you probably played this game already, right? So you know what's going on. Um... 
How am I supposed to judge if she's real or not? Even like the... We, we would need to fact check on, on everything before we... <sighs> I couldn't catch much. The first time you played I had things come up but I'm glad I'm here now. Welcome. Do you like it so far or it was a bust? I fucking love it. Yesterday after I came home, I really wanted to play. But I was too tired. I think Faye is real but needed to be at a mental institute. Agree. Agree. <laughs> um, let's go for it. She exists now. There are too many details. Little things that somehow make sense. Faye exists, or existed. What about that earlier Vertigo episode? And his parents? Something happened in his childhood. But Claire isn't going to tell me. Maybe Robert? Or Ed himself, if I can break through this wall he's put up. I'll have to give it a try. Right, okay. And he has had Vertigo before, so... I have played, but I don't know where we are at at the moment, so I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's probably gonna be entertaining for you when you figure out stuff, and I'm still here like... Eh. Right, um... Let's call it Robert. I wanna know why he sent us here. The number you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. This bitch! He's sending us out here to this absolutely nutter family and then he's not just answering his phone. Kitty is adorbs. They are bae. Are we checking messages from Luke? Yeah, let's check it. I want to know more about this. Talk tonight if you're too busy now. Who is it though? Sure, let's talk tonight. <sighs> oh, Julia has a sick tattoo behind her left ear. Now the music starts playing when she gets to eating Sammy. Boyfriend maybe must be. She was proper mad at him. It's a drug witch. <laughs> Watch her faint in three, two, one. Who am I speaking to? Dr. Lomas? Who is this? Uh, it's Sheriff Reyes. Dr. Leonard gave me her number. How are you, Sheriff? Um, look, I don't want you to breach patient-doctor confidentiality or anything, but... When something comes up in your conversations with Miller... Is Ed under investigation? Is he the suspect of a crime? No, not exactly. If I understood correctly, Ed hasn't committed any crime. Well, we'll have to see about that. So, will you give me a hand? We'll have to see. We'll have to see about that. Ah. <laughs> Touché, Doctor. I would settle for anything at all. Okay, so if he has not committed any crime, then they have not found any bodies. So... There is no evidence of him ever having a kid or that Faye existed because they Maybe weren't in the car. Something. I'm on my way to his neighbors as we speak. <gasps> the Franklin? Nick, you there? Sorry, I've got to go. What is it this time, Adam? 
Tell me you saw my email with the slogan proposal. Yeah. Great stuff, kid. Ah, I'm not sure which one I like the best. I like the sixth one. Um... Yeah. Uh, that one was, uh... Vote for Sheriff Reyes. The sneaky bastard who would have known there were only three slogans if he'd read the... E Adam, do I have to tell your aunt and uncle you have no respect for your elders? You at the ranch yet? I'm on my way. Look, if anyone asks, I was working on Saturday night, okay? I skipped the monthly dinner. Hello, Samuel. Did you know your nephew was a sneaky bastard? <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Hey, I'll check that out once I got a signal again, okay? Did you know that in some places suicide is a crime, so if we if you fail an attempt you could be jailed? I think I've made a great mistake. I did know, and it's kinda of fucked. Like you're getting all through this, you fail your attempt, and then suddenly you're facing charges and the fact that you failed your suicide attempt. Yeah, let's punish this person even more. Oh, bureaucracy. We love it. Talk to Samuel and Esther Franklin. Oh, okay. Laggy. Hold LT to make your character move faster. Oh, are we about to sprint? <gasps> I'm ready. I train for this. I train for this the whole life. I'm a cop. I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, the pun was accidental. I thought it was on purpose. Okay. Suspense. Suspenseful music. <laughs> Did you see the ranch? It looked like the silliest kind of thing with the two eyes like, wah, I'm eating the hay. Oh, I want to look at it more. Okay, nobody here. Let's look at the silly ranch. <laughs> look at it. It's like, wah. By the way, I think if you were the resident of the house and just saw a cop running back and forth while singing something. <laughs> yeah, I would also not open the door, not gonna lie. But sneak around the house because that's what cops do. Ooh, telephone cable box. What is, what is? <gasps> oh, someone cut the cables. <laughs> okay. Someone has cut through their telephone line so they couldn't call for help, maybe? Adam, your Uncle Samuel doesn't take care of the whole ranch by himself, does he? Well, from what my aunt says, it's been hard to find anyone willing to work with him. Which doesn't surprise me. What's wrong with him? He's a grumpy old farmer, or he's a... Uh, a bit else. 
Right, okay, this is getting dodgy already, so uh, let's look into the barn to find whatever is happening. By the way, the grave mistake that I did was drinking a liter's worth of energy drinks into an empty stomach. Oh, no, that's so bad. Why are you punishing yourself? Why is the music so Samuel! Are you there? It's me! Jerry Press! In a bit, Phantom is getting suspenseful right now. So, everything is spoiled, rotten, the farm has not been taken care of for a bit phone line is cut through I feel like we're gonna encounter a murder in a bit uh, and I already saw something morning nugget oh No water. Mm, shit. Horsey. Oh, the poor thing. It's so sad that as soon the farmer is... How long have you been here like this? ...is not there anymore, you know, like all the horses or cows or any animals, they just are left to die. No, just keep the door open. It can walk outside and help itself. Feed it, feed it, feed it, feed it. Let's look for some food or hay or whatever horses eat. I mean, none of that. Is it smart to give it the spoiled carrots? There are nothing else like this perfectly fine rice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No running for now. Get your strength back. As if one carrot would magically heal the horse again. <laughs> it's okay now. We gave you one carrot. Heal for now. You will get your strength back. Okay. Uh, let's let's find some corpses. Mm -hmm. He needs rest anyways, that's why not running. Fair enough. Um. Oh. Adam, care to tell me why my assistant graduated with blue hair? Ah, uh, no. I told my Aunt Esther to get rid of that picture. I made a bet with Marcelo. If I graduated before he finished his thesis, I had to do it. Where'd you find it? I'll tell you later. He's Markiplier. <laughs> Plot twist. 
it's been Markiplier all along. Ugh. I'm afraid of turning heads whenever we enter a new stage. Right. Nothing really sus about this. Really didn't. Oh no, it's only a glove, okay? <laughs> it's only a glove, guys. Calm down. Why are you panicking? Okay. You're in their mouth now. Seriously, like these windows are for no purpose but to make the building look silly. There is no other purpose to them. Uh, okay. We can still walk up to the roof. Alfred Hitchcock, why are you playing with me? Adam? Hold on, Nick. Sorry, I'm back. Everything okay? The big tree. In the field behind the barn. Who's under it? Sounds terrible. Thanks, man. I'll uh, see you at the station. My God, music! What the hell? Could it be that Nick was the father of the stillborn? Who is Nick? You mean Ed? That was like 50 years ago. It doesn't make sense, right? Oh, no, sorry. I wanted to, no, don't go back. Go. I, I don't, uh. <coughs> Okay, so, uh... Completely missed his name. Thank you for that. He did react in a very strong way to this, right? Okay, so there are gloves on the roof. And we saw one glove got stuck in one of those things, like someone fell from the roof. But we have looked around the, for uh, the building, so I guess... <laughs> Let's give the horsey another one. 
another one, as my wonderful friend DJ Caleb would say. Here you go. Can we give you another one? Oh, yes. We're gonna make it round and fat. I suppose maybe Nick's mom dialed in childbirth so he, so it's a touchy subject. Might be. Ooh, feast. That was worth an achievement, by the way. No running for now. Get your strength back. Cutie. Okay. Nick, you there? Just a reminder, you got a meeting with the mayor in half an hour. Oh, no. Hey, I can hear Frankie Lane. How is he? Uh, I don't think your uncle's taking very good care of him. Seriously? The old man is really losing it. You'll be here on time, right? Nope, the, sh the mayor has to wait. Uh, you better fit in for me, all right? Again? Sneaky bastard. Okay, the glove was hanging from this side of the roof. But nobody fell down here. Maybe we can uh, prone our way into the house somehow. Fishing, yeah. Adam, were you planning on fishing with your uncle anytime soon? No. Why? He hasn't invited me since I told him about Marcelo. No reason. Just curious. It's probably for the best, to be honest. Right. Oh. Is it normal that people let their keys in their car? It might be on the countryside, right? Oh, I've heard that in like some parts of Canada, they let the keys and their house doors open because of like the bears or whatever animals are proning around there. Whenever you encounter one that you can quickly run inside someone's home or hide in a car so you're safe. I don't know if that's bullshit or if it's actually true but if it's true i think that's really cute want to hear a crazy theory slam it out there <gasps> all right tractor what is what is what is weird about this night chest piece Can we just bark in? Keep searching outside, ring again, open. Is there anything that we can actually still do outside? I don't think there is. Let's ring again. And um, then just open. Okay. 
or it's locked. Trying to check through the mirror if someone is in the hallway. Am I tripping or is something moving there? I'm just tripping. Okay, wait, let's, before we enter the house, let's hear Phantom's crazy theory. What if Faye is a demon, I'd guess a succubus, because of her flirtatious tendencies? I got nothing else on that. <laughs> and I think she might be around making people go insane. This would also explain why she doesn't have any records and that's what also happened to the uncle. Bold theory. If it turns out to be like this, you earn a, a fucking detective badge. <laughs> They were in the middle of breakfast. When something happened. Money jar. <laughs> yeah, just... Mm. Well, at least they didn't rob you. This was no act of a robbery. Whatever happened. I mean, like, okay, people, at this point, wouldn't you call for assistance? Is this Samuel? I feel like if all the signs are alarming to they are dead, someone did something to them, I think I would call assistance. No one has been in that house for a day and a half at least considering the amount of mold and that the horse isn't dead, meaning it's been at most two to three days. Probably. Ah. I swear to God, Teddy, if there is going to be a single jump scare in this game, I will kill you. <laughs> Our little angel son save us from heaven. Our little angel save us from heaven? There won't be. Maybe. <gasps> But like a jump scare in Alfred Hitchcock manner, right? Like a doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> What the fuck?
Oh, it's an alarm clock. Stay alert! It's a trap! Stay alert! I repeat! Stay alert! Stay a fucking alert! <laughs> what time is it? Who sets the alarm to... to... lunchtime? What? <laughs> okay. Let's keep it together. Um... We are a vampire. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. And what if Faye had something to do with this? Which is why everything seems to just have happened, but no struggle either. And considering how she convinced the stubborn Ed at the beginning to allow her to come in right. I mean, he had no choice. Wouldn't be surprised to be able to get into his house into this house hmm. oh that's ed look ed oh right because they're neighbors fair enough i forgot they were neighbors Leonard, the little angel. Home. Stop slamming doors. I know you're sensitive to the topic, but no need to slam doors. Okay, bathroom. Oh, not the good old shower curtain. Stop. I don't, I don't. Okay, it's just a robe, it's fired. <gasps> this game is fucking amazing. It makes me so scared for no reason. <sighs> Go back into the fucking bathroom. What else is there? Got a rope in the shower, nothing else. Uh, okay. Ooh. Wardrobe. Nothing dodgy. Can we get a chair or something to... Look at the look at the suitcase. Anyone who leaves their shower curtain closed when they leave the shower would die in a horror movie. Yup. Where is uh how can I get to that suitcase? I wanna check it out. Apparently I can't. They equally have a lot of suitcases lying around. Right, only one room left. The basement. Oh, fuck off.
Ah. When you smell that smelly smell, you know what's about to go wrong. <clears throat> Search the basement. Wait. Talk to Samuel and... Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, light, you're being dramatic for no fucking reason. Please calm the fuck down. I'm already stressed. You don't need to make this more stressful. Okay. So that bucket is here because... What are those bubbles? An off walkie talkie reassure Adam. Reassure? I don't want to lie to him. But if we turn it off, he might be worried, so. I'm busy. I'll let you know later. Yes, we just. Oh. Afternoon session with Ed. Snooze 10 more minutes. Turn off and get going. We're a professional. We are not late to our sessions. waiting. Phantom, I've, I'll read it in a bit. <sighs> oh! Back to the corpses. <laughs> Adam Love first inform the forensic department. Uh, I mean, 
it says uncle. He's not gonna be here before the forensic department, so... Let Adam know. Adam. I have to tell you something. What, do we suddenly think now it has been Ed? Just because he's on a picture in their flat. By the way, I was writing that message so I didn't notice the body. Concentrate on the game, Phantom! Get him to new and have to move on. That's nice. I'm glad you get to move out then. Ed? <coughs> Shall we start? He's not even properly awake, Julia. Why don't you tell me about your childhood? What do you want to know? What you played? How high up? Fuck, hi. The tree house is beautiful. It was. Flashback. The flashbacks are so well done. Pretty do transport you back into how he saw it when it was happening, right? I love that they cinematically write out the feeling he had, you know, like being a pirate and all. Very cute. Oh, I've got enough Spanish dollars to buy me own island. I wish I had enough Spanish dollars to buy me my own island. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. He 
so proud of himself. Look at him. One of a kind article crafted by Richard Longfinger Evans, the best hatter on Skull Island. Wait a second, was me hook in me pack when I visited the hat shop? It looks quiet this time of just what I thought. There's that horn swaggler Longfinger Evans. I tore it from Admiral Lawrence Mitz after sinking his gracious majesty's ship. There is nothing like children's imagination. Keep piling up treasures, relics, and talismans. I'll have to start sleeping on deck. Oh no. What a burden, right? I have too much gold lying around. Strikes fear into the hearts of our enemies, but sometimes it's better to strike them with surprise. Mm. Once those buffoons finally realize what's going on, it will be too late. Want to know something about eye patches? It's something about their uses apart from covering missing eyes. It's so they could see under deck, right? It's like when you cover one eye, it gets used to dark vision. And then they would switch it around depending whether they go inside or outside. Finally, Ooh, someone knows it. Step aside, ye hardy Flanagan. <clears throat> We're approaching the jeer at the end of the world. Stay the chorus, beer. I mean, beer is way more fun. Ha ha! <laughs> Skirt the wheel. Starboard. Port. I. I. I have no clue of any of those. Did you guys also do costume costume contests in school? I always went for a night. Night is a fucking dope Flanagan, costume. Take the hell. Not gonna lie. Or must I take care of everything? <sighs> I once went as mermaid and some guy was making fun of my costume. I was so sad, but it was a dope, dope mermaid costume. Fuck that guy, by the way. <laughs> okay, suddenly everything has kind of changed. It's not raining anymore, no more purple fog. I guess we're out of the imagination world. That's why you need a sword, nobody will dare to say anything. You show him, Valk, you show him. Why did you never join? There are some kids who just don't like dressing up. Let's just run away. Our dad called us up. No, let's let's venture the forest. Ta-da. I need me hook. I don't know what he saw, but it's probably going to be worth Oh. Social anxiety does that for you. Mm, nice. I must exercise caution and Ha Richard 
Longfinger Evan. You're the filthiest scum in the Caribbean. Rats! You found me! Of course. <clears throat> now. Prepare to die. Be grateful I'm letting you live. Prepare to die. Prepare for the justice of Captain Roberts. Ha! Just like that, he kill a man. Wait. Oh, so cute. <sighs> Pirate, spy, tremel, snake. I've got crew members stationed all over the Caribbean to gather intelligence on my enemy. What good tidings bring ye, pirate, spy, tremel, neck? Not a sea monster in sight, since you vanquished the thousand sucker kraken, Captain Roberts. On the other side of that lake is the Franklin Ranch, the best place in the world. We play chess and pirates, I ride the horse and the tractor, and I even get to eat apple pie. I miss it. Haven't been there for a while. Oh, yeah, I remember that kid was Ed in the picture that was eating apple pie. It was not Samuel. Even the most fearsome pirate ships need lifeboats because anyone can have a bad day. <laughs> Even the Titanic had a bad day. <laughs> God damn it, you made me on again. I'm sorry. I yawn way too much. And then whenever someone speaks about yawning, I have to do it again. <laughs> I'm trying to pull myself together. Don't worry about it. I will be better. One time we were on our way here from our house in San Francisco. We got a flat tire and almost had an accident. It was really cool. Cool stuff. Uh, I had to be once in front of my class that I had been in for like two and a half years for like 10 seconds and after like three seconds I was shaking. Man, being forced to be up front class should not be really a thing. I tear up when I yawn and then I have a hard time being able to see. <laughs> Sorry, I did it again. I'm not, I'm not yawning. You're yawning. For castle. <clears throat> All right, I really want to meet Ed's dad. Now is a good time to wet me whistle. I'm as thirsty as. Ed, are you there? You coming up? Yes, Dad. <laughs> Let's wet the whistle juicy for now. Juicy blue, juicy blue. Fridge, maybe? Oh, please tell me it's the same that Ed has. No, okay. Lettuce, bread, paper towels, soup, veggie, cereal, milk, coffee, chicken, juice. <gasps> We're out of juice. Ice cream. What did you write? Juicy blue. Juicy blue, juicy blue. Oh man, there's no more. Though, I'd even drink it warm. Mm, 
pantry? Mmm, <gasps> some delicious bleach. Juicy blue, please, please. Man, there's no more here either. Now, what do I drink? Don't you dare looking at it. This is not a joke. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some water. Uh, can we grab a glass first? <laughs> He's like, <sighs> fucking water. Alright, let's dash to dad now because he's been calling for ages but I wanna <laughs> I wanna roam around the house. Supercomputer. I used it to contact international spies and crack their codes. Then I got older and became a pirate. Good career choices. we can actually go outside i was uh i was thinking he's gonna be like kids don't go outside i need ya damn uh a lot of paint Can't be that there is really nothing in here. Why would they make it accessible if there is nothing to discover? Fucking rude. You can really feel the tension in the great western forum. The crowd is going silent. After quite the bumpy season, Ed Miller's career is on the line. It's all or nothing. Oh, Miller <coughs> shoots. Shit. And misses. Another losing season for the Lakers. Miller could have been a hero, but he turned out to be a bad guy. Fuck's sake. Again. <laughs> Again. No. Uh. Wait, I, I'm not ready. I don't even know how to do this. And misses for the second season in a row. No! Stop! Yet another championship race. Stop booing. Okay. Oh. I don't really understand how I should do the thing. Because, like, the timer is running like this. But I think I need to start like that. Because if I do it like this, it doesn't work. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's do this. Oh, uh, whoop. What do you mean I clicked it? <laughs> Guys, did, did someone say four times a charm? Ed, don't worry. We're gonna get this right for you. This is going to be marked down in history books as the moment you won. Nobody's going to talk about the five or a six or whatever, how many attempts we needed. Yeah. Boom! First try. <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, we can try it again? <laughs> Why? The basket is hacking. Yeah, fucking hacks. Can't be better than me. I'm not missing. The basket is just fucking... Fucking nerfed by the developers. Paula, stop, please. I'm already legally blind. I don't want to go more blind with my own tears. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's it's automatic. I don't I don't realize whenever I yawn. Let's stop talking about it. Whenever we talk about it, I will need to do it more. What's there? Ooh. There used to be a garden here, but since Dad was so busy with his novel, Mr. Franklin had to tend to it. So our dad used to be a writer as well. Okay, I guess we have seen quite a bit. Basket was a paid actor. By the way, the Franklins, or like at least the one Franklin we found, has been dead for days. And the zoom in on the picture with Ed and what's his name? Franklin? The other Franklin. So, anyways. It couldn't have been Ed, because he just got released from the mental hospital. And he has been dead for days, so there is no way. Unless he did it before he got into the accident. Oh. There are way more rooms than I... Oh. Being grown up is cool because you can drive motorcycles, but it's also not cool because you spend half the day shaving and things like that. When I grow up, I only want to be a grown up <coughs> and things I like. That's what we all want. But sorry, you will have to spend at least 12 hours a day shaving. Nobody gets around that. Oh, Mom says that if I keep falling down, We'll spend more money on band-aids than on ink for the printer. <laughs> Dad doesn't like constantly moving from one house to the other. But when his book gets published, he'll leave his job in San Francisco and we'll stay here for good. Ooh. Dad and mom. Cute. Mom is always getting on my case for leaving my stuff lying around. But lately she leaves her stuff around too. Okay. So mom is not doing well or is she okay? It's our room. What good tidings bring ye, pirate spy Yanez de Gomera? Your enemies fear ye, and peace reigns supreme, Capitan Robertos. Oh, we got a parrot. Son of the Red Corsair. This is where it all started. Before I played a kid's game. Spies and stuff. Well, better late than never. <laughs> I want to open it to you though. One day you'll find a real treasure. Aunt on Claire Earth. made me promise to call her if I ever found a real treasure. She says I pester her with calls, 
but she cracks up, so. It's cute. I've barely used it since I quit international espionage. Hmm. Maybe another day. Was that you? <laughs> My tummy. I'm kind of hungry. Well, get that last piece in there so we can go eat. I can't find it. Here's a really good clue. It's the only one left. <laughs> no, Dad. Look, there aren't any more. But it's the piece with the helm on it. The ship can't sail without it. <laughs> Dad, it can't sail. It's a puzzle. Hmm. Plus... Your stomach stopped growling. You sure you didn't eat it? Dad, it's a puzzle. You can't eat it. Daddy, toss the hamburgers. Ed ate already. <laughs> Mom, no. Dad's <laughs> nuts. Would it not do this? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Mom, run! Tickle flight! Cute. I guess let's meet dad, finally, after letting him wait for like two hours. Knock, listen, go in, keep exploring outside. I think we've explored enough, but um, listen. Where'd that kid go? <laughs> We're here. Buddy, you knocked so softly that I barely even heard you. Come and say hi the way we do. Remember the Pirate Brotherhood secret handshake? There is no lost cause. Pa, pa, oh, no, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was just a warm up. Now let's try it again, one more time. I'm ready. There is no lost cause. As long as there's one remaining madman who fights for it. The Pirate Brotherhood. Oh. <sighs> okay. The third time is the charm, a man. No. There is no lost cause. As long as there's one remaining madman who fights for it. The Pirate Brotherhood. Oh, stop doing this to me, game. You know what? We'll get there. Just give it time. Open the window for me, will you? Secret handshakes are like everything else. The more you practice, the better you get. Hmm. Boo. Anyway, do you have something you want to tell me? I was playing but came as fast as I could. Sorry. Sorry I took so long, but I, uh... uh. Well, it could have taken less time, for sure. I was failing my basket, okay? I anyway, really wanted to get that goal in. Talk about. How's your morning? More productive than mine, I hope. I made an awesome shot. Well, bad at first because I'd lost my hook. Darn. That hook is so cool. I know, but then I found it. The have it from Skull Island? Horn soggled it. <laughs> you know what? With that imagination of yours and this never-ending chapter, you'll probably make it as a writer, way before I do. Whoa. By the way, do you... When you finish the novel, can we go on a trip? 
Yes, start thinking about where you want to go. And now, what would you say if... Is Mom back from the store? Mm-mm. What do you say you go to the garage and bring me a... You know what. I don't think I know what you know what is. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. Oh, and the most important thing is that nobody can ever know. Nobody, nobody? Nobody, nobody. Is he trying us to bring him a beer? It's our secret. A secret pirate brotherhood exactly. pact? Exactly. A secret pirate brotherhood pact. Signed in blood. Signed in... Ink. Wait. Ink? You'll see. Ink. Okay, so what could the symbol of the Pirate Brotherhood be? The World's End Maelstrom. The Jolly Roger. The Thousand Sucker Kraken or my hook. I want the Kraken, but the hook is probably the cutest thing. My hook. Of course. Excellent choice. Let's do it. <laughs> It's awesome. Secret pact? Secret pact. <laughs> Cute. All right then, hurry up. You know your mission. Is he actually trying to bring him a beer? Get I know what from the garage. Give that I know what. Keep I know what a secret. <laughs> okay. I mean, if we don't even know what it is, then it's probably not too hard to keep it a secret. There was only paint in the garage. Can we actually just look around and just bring him whatever? Because he didn't specify. Captain, the thing we are looking for, I'm not clear on part of it. Explain yourself, Flanagan. What are we looking for? <laughs> Why is it a secret? Why exactly is it a secret mission? The reason, Flanagan, it is also a secret. <laughs> Ooh, of course, Captain, but... What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for a rhino, what? Again. Oh, it's so much clearer to me now, but... No, it's here in the garage, but where exactly? That is the question, Flanagan. The governor is constantly changing its location. Oh, no, I understand, <laughs> though. Though not really, so... Could you describe it to me? Well, I don't know. A little like this? Oh, I totally see more. Enough questions, Flanagan. Start looking. Excellent instructions. Ah, uh, gas heater. Check the condition. Yeah. Uh, let's see how it's uh, how it's doing. It was an accident. <laughs> oh, that was us. Oh, well, it's not here.
if we take long enough, the bum will come back and then we won't need to struggle with keeping it a secret. Yeah, it's the wellies. <laughs> Makes absolute sense. He most definitely wanted the boots. Maybe if we try for a third time, we might be able to reach it. I'm pretty sure we would. This is a great idea. Let's climb on this flimsy drawer. Dang it, not here either. Okay. I still have no clue what we're looking for exactly. Check shape. Yes. <laughs> nope. Why? Oh, snacks. Now I want snacks. The secret must be kept. <sighs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not fooling me, little bird. <gasps> Mom! Shit! <gasps> she will never see us. wrong with mom You know I don't like you playing in here. It's dangerous. Eddie? I'm taking I was something for the hook that today. gave me because. The hook? Yeah, the hook. Okay, whatever. I don't want to know. Do as you please. Mom. Well, just finish what you're doing and come to the kitchen when you're done and help me with the groceries, okay? Why is everybody so pissed right now? 
Captain Roberts, in a desperate attempt to keep his word for the governor, had made enemies of Captain Morgan. A valuable ally. I must get her back, he said to himself. But first, I have a mission to complete. Hook as and Morgan on can't me. find out. Okay, we need to amend things with mom. Yet also finish the secret mission. Oh no. Oh no, that's a bad idea. Why did you climb up if you've already fallen once? Are you okay? I was little when I fell. I just wanted to keep our secrets safe. Buddy, it's not that. It, it's just that it's dangerous. You have to be careful. I was very careful, Dad. Ed, you could have... Wait. Did I hear the car? Is she back? Did she... Uh... Hey, did you talk to her? And... Did you tell her... Does she know? I kept the secret. I didn't say a word. The Pirate Brotherhood is safe. Good. <laughs> That's good. Um, maybe you should oh, go yeah. see her. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to help her with the groceries. Why are the characters behaving Come so to weirdly? think of it. I've never seen you climb. Will you show me how you climb down? Maybe I can use it for my novel. Is he trying to kill his kid? Are you hungry? Well, now it's weird for sure. Yeah. It's like, are you crazy that you climbed up? Oh, by the way, can you climb down again? My belly is full of water. The kid's gonna die. The kid is Ed. That's my boy. What are we gonna eat? Well, unless your dad cooked something and hid it so he could surprise us later. Roasted veggies. Gross! Awesome. Veggies. Awesome. Too late. I saw that look on your face. We tried. <sighs> okay. Can you put the rest of this stuff away while I start getting things ready? <sighs> okay. All right. Let's see if you remember where everything goes. Okay. Um, where are the groceries? There. Paper towels. Probably... Wait, do they all go in the pantry? Do we have options? No, okay. She's just using kids' psychology on us. She's like, see if you remember where to place things correctly. This has now become a challenge and not an errand anymore. Also, making two or three or four trips as her losers. We should have grabbed everything at once. Oh. Bread, 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 bread. Bread goes here. And...
I feel tricked into running housework. But we are currently amending our relationship with the other captain. <gasps> I see a little cap in here. Might this be... A Where are you walking? I want the juice. Oh. Mom, I put everything away. Can I go play now? I'd say that was faster than ever. Mm. Wait. Are you sure there's nothing left in the bag? If I were you... I'd check again. All signs point to a bottle of... Juicy? Red, my fave! <sighs> Oh, we tried. I didn't want to make mom cry. <sighs> Thanks, mom. Mom? <sighs> Eddie. The red one's good, too. But you don't really. Oh, Mom, you're bleeding. That's why you were crying. Oh, sorry, I got some on your drawing. Mm, signed in blood. Should I go tell? It's nothing, sweetie. I'll fix it up in a jiffy. Finish putting the things away, please, buddy, okay? So brave. Mom is not okay. Oh. Hmm. I should give this to Mom. I wonder which bathroom she went to. Oh, my fat ass bought this was <gasps> chocolate. killer in DVD whenever he hits someone and they just hide in a locker. Imagine a passive aggressive kid. Here, wash the tears away with the juice so it has at least some use. <laughs> Is mom depressed? Maybe Ed inherited her trait years later. Mom? Might be. I really wonder what's going on between the parents in general. They're behaving so? really weird. What? What happened next? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Ed. There are some things I still don't quite Tell understand. me about it, Julia. Why so much secrecy around Frangles? Good point. Why was your mother crying? Also good point. Were you that obsessed with pirates? I don't fucking care. 
you had a lot of Im imaginary friends yeah they he really did not have any friends but it makes sense because you know like they live at the end of the world they keep moving a lot so this is not really anything that concerns me oh she dying or dead me thinks i wouldn't know but i want to know why she was crying what happened to your mother why was she crying she cut herself when was the last time you cried because of a little cut? Maybe it wasn't a small cut. I don't remember much. Shit. I, I need a pee break again. I'm sorry. <laughs> the burden of staying well hydrated is having to go pee every five fucking minutes. Ugh. Drama. Woo. Ah. Yeah. Why the Frangles? Why didn't your father want your mother to find out about the Frangles? You've misunderstood. My father always hid treasures around the house for me. Little presents or just some candy. It was a game. I see. It's common for kids to have an imaginary friend. But you had a whole world. Captain Roberts, Flanagan, the Hatter, the Hundred Sucker Kraken, the... Thousand Sucker. <laughs> I guess it's a writer's thing. <laughs> yes, don't get me wrong. I don't see any problem with the world itself, just with certain details. Okay. One last... I was under the distinct impression that psychologists just listen. <laughs> Basically, shut the fuck up. It's about asking the right questions. And I was under the impression that patients want to heal. Mmm, Julia, get him like that. We like to listen when we get the truth. You know what? Let's be snappy. And I was under the impression that patients go to therapy to heal. Maybe wanting to heal isn't the problem. Maybe the patient isn't either. Oh. Ah, oh, come on. Don't you ever get tired of being ridiculous? It's not going to work this time either. Please. Earlier, I sat down at the edge of the pond. There's something about it that... I don't know. Lingers? It's as if I were there right now. The water moved slowly. I liked the sound.
The air was humid, sweet. The cool breeze whistled between my fingers. Let's get him, guys. Stop resisting! You could barely hear the birds in the distance. It smelled like sap, like bark, like earth. I imagined myself eight years old, sitting, smelling, feeling, seeing. And I imagine you, eight years old, I see you. You've climbed up into the treehouse. You're playing. What are you playing? Ready to board. Okay. Let's see what we can analyze. I feel like the memory that Ed gave us at first where his mom cut herself while cutting veggies was probably not the actual part of the story. Hmm. Flanagan, me hook. It's not in your cabin, Captain Roberts. You better bring it to me soon, unless you want to end up a shark. Damn it, Eddie. Are you deaf? Come to my office, now! Okay, Dad. Flanagan, get all hands on deck. All right, now Boy, we get Captain. to see the reality of this memory, I guess. Governor Miller requires me present at the forecast to discuss highly important matters. Mm hmm Where did you get all of this? They're treasures. They're all over the place. They're not actually treasures. But I make it look like it. The trick is half closing your eyes. Why the name? It's from a movie. The dreaded Captain Roberts. Mm-hmm. Do you like things, Garrett? Only when I'm a pirate. There must be more. Only 66% secondary, but I guess we can go to other memories and oh, god damn it! Sorry, guys, sometimes the controls are not working the way I want them to. I guess we can gather more in other memories. Why is Flanagan so ugly and hunchbacked? Maybe because he's a little dumb? Mm-hmm. Are ugly people dumb? He's kind of like a monster. But cute and fun. that cigarette bud oh we cannot walk there why did he yell at you like that sometimes he gets a little upset what makes him upset the yearning
Who built it? Dad. Sure. <laughs> How long ago was that? I was little. I was six. And now you're eight, right? Okay. We're eight years old. He built it when we were six. gets mad sometimes but what else is there to discover Because I feel like we've seen everything, but we're not at a hundred percent main yet. Ah, there we go. Who gave you all of that? My dad bought me a ton of pirate toys. He did not buy you, sweetie. Look closely. Are you sure that toy was bought in a store? Maybe I found it somewhere, like my treasures. Before, he would give me presents, lots. Why did he stop? He's busy. We're getting to some fighting scenes. Dad? What? Jeez. What have I told you about coming in here while I'm working? He called us. I may feel lose focus and artists what do you need say to concentrate. You go to the garage and bring me a you know what. I don't think I know what you know what is. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. Oh, and most importantly, your mom can't find out. A secret pirate brotherhood pact? Sure, but she can't find out. Come on, you're taking forever. Crazy how a child's mind is just wrapping around details to protect themselves. You told me about a pirate handshake where you bumped fists. Did that actually happen, or did you make it up? It might not have happened, or maybe I saw it in the movie. Ed, your father, has he ever hit you? No. But he will. When, Ed? When will he hit you? I don't know yet. And your mom, has he ever hit her? I don't know. Why do you think they do that? You know, just like self-protection. Even adults do it, right? When something traumatic happens, sometimes you just... The mind just dresses it up as something else, or... You completely forget about things to push it away. Abusive father and depressed mother makes sense how Ed grew up. To not relive it, so you falsely remember. 
Yeah, or like to not to not deal with all the trauma that comes from it, so you just bury it deeper, I guess. I really wonder if we get to decide what's about to happen because we could have chosen like, oh, he just hit us once or he's about to or he never did. So I don't know if I'm actually changing the story here by giving those answers. How much does your dad smoke? I don't know, but he doesn't want to. Who makes him? The yearning. Mm-hmm. Is that what he says? What is your dad writing? A bestseller. Will it? Sell, I mean. He'll never finish it. Mm. So... Kind of makes sense now that it went aboard. So your father hides treasure around the house as a kind of game for you. Do you remember other treasures, aside from the Frangles? Not right now. So you and your dad made up the Pirate Brotherhood, or was there anyone else? No, just me. And your dad? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what happened with mom. No tears to cry, but where exactly? That is the question, Mr. Clankin. The governor is constantly changing its location. Ooh, of course, Captain Foot. Enough questions, Wagon. Start looking. Must be booze, right? Human minds isn't the best and we fill in gaps with something else and a lot of painful memories are like this where they will be filled with something else to protect your mentality in a weird way. It's kind of like a fever which is too high could kill you even though your body is doing that to kill the virus or bacteria to save you. That's actually quite a good comparison. That's actually a really, really good comparison. You're just masking it. You're... You're not solving the issue by doing that, and you're endangering yourself by burying it deeper. Yet, sometimes, like, burying traumatic experiences deeper is uh, the best first aid you can get, because sometimes you're not in the right mental state to work on it. Your dad said he would fix it. I'll never ride my bike again. Okay, we have an overworked dad who's making promises and not fulfilling them because of the yearning. And what else? They look pretty dangerous for a kid. Mom doesn't let me go in there. But your dad asked you to go in. Mom probably knew already what was happening when she saw us in here. Ed? 
are you okay? Ed, what are you feeling? What are we feeling right now, or what we felt in that moment? Because I don't think we felt anything in that moment. Do we even know, as an eight-year-old, what that means? Bringing our dad alcohol? I... I feel... Uh, I feel... Uh, I feel... Okay. Okay, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> I guess feeling good has the highest priority because feeling bad makes you also physically more likely to get sick. True that. Just releases a lot of stress hormones. Okay, I really want to know what's going on with mom. She's the one that worries me the most. Oh, yeah. Why did he make us climb down? Probably because he heard that mom was coming back. I was like, okay, buddy, just jump out of the window. Are you out of your mind? Oh no, is he gonna read his novel? Read this. The next step in the long process of Joe human self-destruction involved an internal rebellion. His nervous system out of revenge for being mistreated by Joe. Bunch of crap, Ed. I'll, I'll never make it. I'm worthless. You understand? Fucking worthless. I'm worthless. You're worthless. A waste. No matter, no matter how, how hard you try, okay? trapped remember that one day it'll come it'll never go away understand remember that I have to mom is in the kitchen ah uh. So painful seeing him project his whole misery on top of us.
you like basketball? Ed, I'm sorry. Who, who are you talking to? To you. I love it. So do I. I knew it. Really? Why is that? Well, because it's awesome. Oh, sure. So are you. Who's your favorite player for the Lakers? Oh, God. Is this something that we have to answer correctly? Are these all Lakers players? He said that we're awesome because we knew basketball, so I feel like we should get this right. Let me let me Google these names and find out who they are. Magic Johnson is a former professional basketball player for For what team? Are they all Lakers players? Okay, so he is Sam Bowie is also but not for the Lakers? Okay. Uh, Nick Van Axel. Good thing that we as a professional psychotherapist can just do this. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if there are wrong answers, but Magic Johnson is for surely Definitely one. Definitely Magic Johnson. Yeah, right. Too obvious. Has to be from this season. Nick Van Exel is my favorite. Nick the Quick. It's not Magic Johnson, of course. But looking at this season... Yeah, the Lakers aren't what they used to be. It's a shame. Really a shame. 8K. Where did we decide you to... You fell, right? How long ago? got really hurt. Mom got really scared. Dad, too. It was epic. Okay, so when he hurt himself, he learned that he could get attention from his parents. Is that the reason why he decided to climb up there? So after falling from the ivy, you didn't get vertigo? What is that? Fear of heights. For Captain Roberts, fear is what's found on the faces of his enemies. Is it a normal thing for your dad to get really sad all of a sudden? Or angry? Or happy? It wasn't before. Ed, do you drink? So much. Today I drank a huge glass of water in one gulp. That's good. It's important to drink water. It's a very interesting fact that he loved it when he fell and his parents cared for him. If it needs something this traumatic, 
for you to be happy that your parents are taking attention or like taking care of you and paying attention it usually implies that you're not getting any from other events Absolute nutter family. Put everything away. Can I go play now? Wait. Are you sure there's nothing left in the bag? If I were you, I'd check again. All signs point to a bottle of. Okay, I guess we get to explore the bathroom. Does it hurt? Don't come in! Ow! 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 Ed! Eddie! <gasps> Pregnancy test! Pregnancy test! My dudes! I see you! I see you! She has something in the oven. Oh, oh. Guapan Pharmacy. Right. So the test is wait, actually I didn't pay attention to how many things there are on it. Ah fuck's sake. Was the test positive or negative? Why is she why is she sad? Oh my god, I was just looking at your messages because there is going on so much. Fuck. I'll just for now uh, for now I'll assume that it was positive So, do you believe me yet, or are you going to keep at it? I had to give it a try. He still thinks that this is not working. Drop him hints that we know what he knows. Say hello to Joe Human in your sleep. I mean, Joe who? I wonder if um, adult Ed is aware of what actually happened, or if we only hear about what actually happened from his inner child. And he has no clue what even went down, you know. You told me about it. Don't 
you remember? Okay, maybe he knows. I'm not really getting anything out of his expressions. His expressions are like weird. Jesus Christ. Okay, people. Before we dive in further into chapter three, I'm gonna have a lunch break because I haven't had breakfast for now and I need my lunch. Uh, I plan to continue playing in like 30 minutes. So let's say 30 minutes from now, we're gonna start chapter three. We're gonna let everything sink in that we saw in this very traumatic <laughs> chapter. And uh, I hope to see you back in 30 minutes so we can continue. And I will read back to all your chat messages because I feel like it got deep in there. Have a nice lunch, eat on stream, be the real streamer. It's, it's a bummer to eat on the stream. Also, it will take a fucking long time to heat up the stuff. I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Maybe I'll have some snacks on the stream. <laughs> Alright. See you in a bit. Little break.